in a right triangle, we know the hypotenuse A and one other angle. We want to know the lengths of the sides that are adjacent and opposite that angle. For a few angles, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find lengths a sub x and a sub y. The Pythagorean theorem also gives cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equal 1. The typical case in physics is that we're given values for both a and theta, and we want to calculate a sub x and a sub y. No matter the orientation of the triangle, we use a sub x equals a sine theta, a sub y equals a cosine theta. This is true no matter how the triangle is spun around. Side a sub y is said to be opposite the given angle, and side a sub x is adjacent to the given angle. The words adjacent and opposite are alphabetical, and so are the words cosine and sine. When the triangle is spun around, and I want to know the length of this side, which is adjacent to the angle theta, I use a cosine theta. When I want to know the length of this side, which is opposite the given angle, I use a sine theta. In a few simple cases, we can calculate the lengths of the two sides. For example, when the triangle has sides 1, 1 to the square root of 2, we know the angle is 45 degrees. In general, a sub x and a sub y are calculated from the cosine and sine functions, where cosine theta is 1 minus theta squared over 2 factorial plus theta fourth over 4 factorial plus theta to the 6 over 6 factorial and so on. Notice that the cosine is 1 for theta equals 0 and that the cosine contains all the even powers of theta. Sine theta is given by theta minus theta cubed over 3 factorial plus theta the fifth over 5 factorial and so on. Notice that for theta equals 0, sine theta is 0 and that sine theta contains the odd powers of theta. When you press calculator buttons, these are the formulas being used. The factorial function grows rapidly in the denominator, causing higher terms to shrink rapidly. The calculator uses only one dozen terms to compute the result to several digits. The ratio of these is defined to be tan theta equals sine theta over cosine theta. In this year-long course in physics, we will occasionally use the relation sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta times cosine theta. We often use theta equals inverse tangent of c sub y over c sub x, but the calculator might require you to manually add or subtract 180 degrees to its result in order to put the angle in the quadrant that you expect. Here are the rules for adjusting the calculator's result for inverse tangent. For example, if cy equals 5 and cx equals minus 5, which is in the fourth quadrant, but the inverse tangent of minus 1 equals minus 45 degrees, which is below the plus x axis, so we adjust the result to be theta equal 315 degrees. As another example, if c sub y equals minus 5 and c sub x equals minus 5, which is in the third quadrant, but the inverse tangent of plus 1 equals plus 45 degrees, so we adjust the result and use 225 degrees.